<laughs> I'm dressed as a uh, bad Santa. Yeah, I think that's accurate. Fat Santa. Speaking of marketing, so. I think you're pretty skinny Santa. I did, right. <laughs> I did go and do some sign spinning on the corner of 17th and Hit, like I said last episode I didn't want to do. Mm -hmm. I found a way to make it work in my mind. Okay. I'm sort of a Mary Poppins spoonful of sugar kind of guy. Oh, yeah. In every job that must be done, there is an element of fun. And when you mm -hmm. find the fun, the job's a game. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, I got to have a Santa suit. So that's what this is. And never have I felt skinnier <laughs> than being in a Santa suit. Right. And I didn't, uh, as the great Brian Kelly, uh, one of my favorite mentors, what's up? I talked to him this week. I had a good bro week. I love that. Yeah, I had to just uh, hang out time with a couple friends. Honestly, I think it's really important to foster friendships. Yes, yeah. for sure. This time of year, let people know they're loved. We talked about that last week. Right. You know, show a bro some love. Mm -hmm. And uh, he used to say, let's play the tape all the way through when we were conceptualizing and workshopping a, a thing, a bit, a promotion, mm -hmm. a stunt. And what I didn't work all the way through is I'm thinking, oh, wait a minute. With great Santa suit comes great responsibility. Uh-huh. What am I going to say if a kid tugs on my Santa coat? Oh, no. And asks for something for Christmas. So I had to stop everything, Google, like, <laughs> how, how do you, you know? And, and what I would yeah. tell the kid is, oh, I'm, I'm a deputy of Santa. Okay. Uh, assigned to this street corner. Mm -hmm. The real Santa's in the North Pole, and he's going to be seeing you on Christmas Day. <laughs> Oh, that's sweet. Right. That's good. You know, that's a really good way of putting it. So as, I, okay, got the sign, got the Santa suit. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I thought, wait a minute. I'm not a professional sign spinner. Mm -mm. I haven't even watched a YouTube video on how to do it. <laughs> right? Right. So I'm like, okay, what do I, what would be ideal for this sign? Because it's like 60 inches by 30. I got a big one. Right. Side note, one thing I didn't consider was, the slightest of breezes will send you sailing with that thing. <laughs> right. Really? If you would have had a skateboard, that would have been fun. I wasn't. Okay, I, wait. I that forgot might be, about our famous East Idaho wind. Okay, but that might be our next little jackass stunt. Okay. Oh, what yeah. if we take that sign, put handles on it, grab a skateboard. I know I've got one somewhere. Uh -huh. If not, I or can find one. Or some roller blades. Yeah, or some, ro I know I've got skates. Get behind a and jet engine. No, no, no. I mean, we just wait for a nice windy day in Idaho and we go wind sailing. I love it. I love Let's that idea. do it. I'll do it dressed as Barbie. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, you yeah. do it? I would do it. You okay. know what? If you're taking Christmas, I'll take the summer. Even though the sun is the bane of my ginger existence. So realizing I wasn't the best sign spinner in the world, I, I thought, I can just go and do it. It's always more complicated than you think it is. <laughs> right, So right. I thought, you know what I really need is A, a stick, mm -hmm. and then B, something to attach to the sign, and then in the middle of those two things, I need a joint, a swivel joint. Mm. Oh, yeah, uh-huh. And tell me if this is a genius or an idiot move. So I go on, I'm, I'm thinking, what's got the parts? Now, I know I've got a few handy friends who right now could go to Home Depot and build me that thing in... Five seconds. Yeah. yeah. No yeah. time flat. Yeah. My dad could definitely do it. I'm not one of those people. <laughs> I didn't want to ask for help. Right. As MBMM knows, um, I want to do it on my own. I want to try it on my own. <laughs> so I went on Amazon and I searched for 360 Spin Mop. Brilliant, by the way. Uh, thank you. <sighs> As someone who's tried Rub the sign... <laughs> Especially, yeah, super smart. And really? it works great. A kid could handle this thing. Right. So, yeah, I drilled four holes mm -hmm. and got some zip ties and attached our sign to a 360 spin mop. Here it is on the corner of 17th and Hit. Love that. I felt like an idiot. No one cared that I was doing it. <laughs> I doubt anybody was able to even read it with it spinning like that. But the QR codes are there. So if they did take a picture of the goofy guy, <laughs> of the goofy Santa guy spinning the IFAF sign, mm -hmm. uh, maybe like two people know about it now <laughs> that didn't. <laughs> yeah. Oh, which also, can we point out your little scritchity scratch? Oh, yeah. So um, do you want to know how I got these scars? <laughs> no, I got a little, uh, yeah. So a little Nick. I, <laughs> a little Saint Nick. <laughs> yeah. Right on my cheek. <laughs> that are nice and rosy. Uh -huh. um, so... The, the, the sign is made of coroplast. It's unbelievably lightweight. Right. Picture corrugated cardboard only mm -hmm. with plastic, and then that's exactly what it is. Right. The minute I got out there, 
first spin. <laughs> oh, no. Caught it with my cheek. Oh. You poor thing. So that's one occu. If if you're if you've Tinder matched with a sign spinner, <laughs> that's one occupational hazard you can talk about. Right, right. Oh, do you ever get scraped up by those things? <laughs> Cause ow. Yeah. Cheek was bleeding, and I had to use my white Santa gloves. Oh no! To, to dab. Yeah. If Were I, you able to get the blood out? Uh, I haven't washed them yet. Oh, well, you know, I've got lots of ways to. Okay, good. Women in general do. Okay. To get <laughs> From all the men we kill. Right. <laughs> right. Kidding. 